How come when you want things in order, they call that a disorder? <laughs> you know, when I first suspected that I might have OCD, I Googled it, and there are different symptoms. And some I have and some I don't. And the ones I have, some I have more strongly than others. So I decided to make a color-coded graph. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. I listed the symptoms. I said, I'm going to rate from 0 to 10 how strongly I feel I have each symptom. Total it up and divide it by the number of symptoms. <laughs> if I'm higher than 5, I'll seek professional help. If I'm under five, I'll self-diagnose that I am A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Number one, are you the type of person who has to check the stove repeatedly to make sure it's off? And I'm like, uh, zero. That's a Looney Tunes land. <laughs> Number two, are you the type of person who has to wash your hands over and over again? And I had this nagging feeling that I forgot to answer that first question. <laughs> so I looked up, yeah, I did write zero. Okay, hand washing, six. I'm like, that didn't even write. I scribbled that out, I got some ink on my hands. I went to go wash my hands. <laughs> While I'm washing my hands, I'm like, why did they mention stove? So I checked the stove. <laughs> It was on. I'm like, I'm never going to make that mistake again. And I came back, and I chained hand washing to two. I took the whole test. It averaged 5.0. So I'm like, I still don't know. So I decided to buy a book about it. I go into the bookstore. I asked the clerk, can you tell me where the self-help section is? And she said, why don't you try to find that yourself? <laughs> well, I finally found the section. It was so disorganized, I spent the next three hours <laughs> rearranging all their books rather than finding out whether or not I have OCD. <laughs>